A special team was coached by a special person in 1970. That special team was the undefeated state champions of Ohio, and that special person was head coach Robert Clark Cummings Sr. This is Wilbur Arnold, the Football Booster Club president in 1970. In honor of that special team and coach, this video was produced by the Maslin Tiger Football Museum and is dedicated to the memory of Coach Cummings. He was head coach at Maslin High School from 1969 to 1973 with a record of 43 wins, six losses, and two ties. Sadly, he passed away on February 20th, 1992 at the age of 59. Thanks to three people who made possible this video of that special state championship season. Jim Matthews for recording the radio broadcast. Tom Cardinal for keeping the tape safe for 29 years. Ron Prunty, videographer and creator of the video. And now let's go back to 1970 to see and listen to the Warren game again. This Federal Savings and Loan Company located the Chime Clock, 211 Lincoln Way East in Maslin. And with the warm-up, here's Neil Day. Thank you very much, Bill. It's a rainy night here at Mullenkov Stadium in Warren, Ohio, with a lot of excitement and a very large crowd in the stands in spite of the rainy weather. It should be an exciting game, and the field doesn't look to be in the best of shape. We did cross the field coming into the stands today, and... And, well, to be perfectly honest, we almost slipped once or twice. But we aren't wearing cleats, so we don't know how well the players will do. It is raining hard right now before the ball game starts, and it looks as if this rain will continue throughout the ball games. We don't know exactly how it will affect play. We hope not too badly. We hope not too many errors, but we'll have to wait to find out. For the Warren Black Panthers, dressed uh, as the game starts in sparkling white, uniforms and I don't imagine those uniforms will remain white throughout the ball game a fairly big team and a tough team Bill Hunter is the end he's 180 pounds six foot two and a senior Dave Bennett is on the left side of the line at the tackle 205 pounds a senior 78 is his number Jim Varley a senior 160 pounds 5'5 is the left guard the center a senior 180 pounds and 5'10 Conan Couples Bill Toten is the right guard, a senior, 170 pounds, and he's 5 feet 10 inches tall. 5'10", 178 pounds, and a junior. Those statistics for the right tackle, Bob Stan for Warren. Tyrone Owens is the end, a senior, 180 pounds, and 6 foot tall. The quarterback starting is Tom Muir. He's a senior, 160 pounds, 5'10". Behind him, Joe Kirksey. A junior, 160 pounds, 5'9". Eric Kirksey, also in the backfield, a senior, 186 foot, and 5'10", 170 pounds, and a senior is George Capellis, the other back man for the Warren Panthers. We'll look at the Maslin Tigers starting offensive lineup right after the Maslin Tiger offensive unit will be facing a rain field for the first time this season. The field is, as we said, in very, very bad shape, and how well the Tigers can run and pass is going to be a big question mark, we're going to be finding it out in just a few seconds. For the Tigers, the offensive team that will be testing the rain field, at left end, Willie Spencer, 6'2", 189 pounds, and a junior, and he'll be alternating, of course, as he has all season with Mike McGuire. Next to him, Tid Tim Ridgely, 5'10", 210 pounds, and a senior. And Pete Jasinski is the left guard, 5'10", 191 pounds, and a senior. The center, Steve Studer, 5'11", 200 pounds, and a junior. Dave Kulik is the right guard on the offensive line, 6'186 pounds, and a senior. Kirk Strogel, the tackle, 5'11", 215 pounds, and a senior. On the right side, the end, Steve Luke, 6'2", 186 pounds, and a senior. The backfield is, it has been all season for the Masson and Tigers, with one exception, Mike Marger, Denny Franklin, Tom Cardinal, and, of course, Larry Harper, as he has for the last three games, the wing back. That's the Massel and Tiger offensive unit as we get ready for the kickoff of this exciting game. Just one other note, the Massel and Tigers did win the toss for the eighth consecutive time this season. They chose to receive, and that's the way the game will be starting. Tigers the kickoff, and it's going to be action, Bill Ray Hall. And the Tigers have won the toss, and the ball is taken by Larry Harper. He gets it at the 25, up over the 30 to about the 33 yard line. And the Tigers will put it in play, first and 10 on their own 33, as we get set to run the first play from scrimmage. All right, on a rainy night at 
Molotov Stadium here in Warren. And boy, the rain has continued to come down, pouring away. The Tigers trying to keep that win streak intact as they get set for the first play from scrimmage. Mike Cardinal, or Tommy Cardinal, and Mike Marger are the setbacks. Harper is wide to the right. Franklin, the quarterback. Tommy Cardinal with the ball. Gets up to the 34-yard line for a one-yard gain on the play. We'll have to pick up some of the defensive players as we go along. Colin, Conan Couples made the tackle for Warren's Black Panthers. So the ball close to the 35. We'll call it second down and eight to go for a first down. To the left, Mike Marger with the ball, running wide, gets up over the 35 to about the 38-yard line. A pickup of about three on the play. So this is going to bring up a third down situation and about four to go for a first down. Mark Hall, the right defensive end, made the tackle for Warren. And I imagine the footing is going to be really treacherous tonight because that field out there is just soaking wet. A good crowd on hand. Now Harper is split wide to the right. Denny Franklin calling those signals. And up the middle it goes for a first down. Tommy Cardinal. Up to the 44-yard line where Matt Lee, the middle guard, and Mark Hall, the right defensive end, made the tackle for Warren. But not before Cardinal got the first down. He sent uh, Mike Marger a little bit in motion. And then Cardinal went right through on a quick opener. So the Tigers get their first first down of the game. Larry Harper comes wide to the right. The ball goes to Tom Cardinal and knifing his way through. Gets up over the 45 to about the 47 yard line. About three yards on the play. This is going to bring up a second down and seven with uh, Dave Bennett, that right defensive tackle, a 205-pounder, and Mark Hall making the stop. So second down, and seven to go for the first down. Now we have Harper wing to the left. Mike Mauger with the ball, running wide, and hit, and hit hard for no gain. You can tell we're sitting on the Warren side. The press box is in back of the Warren fans, and by the roar of the crowd, when Maslin has the ball, you can uh, detect as to whether it's been a gain or not. So we've got a third down coming up now, and seven to go for the first down. No gain on the play. The Tigers are set to go now, on balance line to the right. And it's to Harper on the go around, and Harper gets up close to the 49-yard line, slipped and fell as he came from his wing position on the right, and then cut through on the left. So up to the 49, and this will bring up a fourth down, and about four to go for the first down. Ray Tenser, Mark Hall in to make the stop. Mike Mogger will go back in punt formation, standing on his own 37-yard line. Let's see who's back there deep. Looks like Tenser. Or Vogel is back. And it's a beautiful kick and taken on about the eight-yard line by Vogel, running wide and brought down at about the 14-yard line. And down under the kick, uh, Larry McClendon was down there and brought him down. Also, uh, Pete Jasinski. So Warren's going to put the ball in play first and 10, and it's marked at their own 14-yard line. This is W. The quarterback for Warren brings his team up out of the huddle. Conan Couples is the center. He's got Kirksky, Capellas, and Kirkson in that backfield. Or Kirks Kirksey, that is. Two of them. There's a flag on the play as Kirksey uh, gets the ball. The fullback, Eric Kirksey, up to the 15 yard line. And uh, let's see what the flag was. Tim Ridgely in on the stop. The officials talking to the Maslin Tigers, uh, Tom Cardinal down there. So apparently the penalty offside against Warren. It is declined. They'll take the down instead. This will bring up a second down and 10 to go. Now they break out of the huddle with Muir barking the signals. Eye formation balanced to the right. And Muir gives it to George Capellas, who is coming from right to left. 
that he got up to about the 15-yard line, and that is as far as he'll go. That's going to bring up a third down and 10 to go, or nine on the one-yard gain. And Larry McClendon in there quickly for the Tigers, along with Steve Luke. So third down and nine for Warren at their own 15-yard line. All right, Kirksey is wide to the right. Split out there as a flanker. And a quick kick, a sneak kick, and a ball takes a big roll toward Maslin Territory. Bounces at the 23-yard line, and that's where it's down on third down. Boy, getting back to Vogel, just stepped back. He wasn't too far back of the line of scrimmage, and on a quick kick, just booted it right down there. So the Tigers will have the ball at their own 23-yard line, first and 10. Larry Harper is winged to the right. Now he goes in motion, and the ball kept by Denny Franklin, and he slips as he goes around the left side. He gets up over the 25 to the 26-yard line for a three-yard gain. This will bring up a second down, and seven to go for the first down. Gene Hapler, left defensive tackle, along with Matt Lee, the middle guard, make the tackle. Six minutes, 25 seconds to play in the first quarter. There is no score. The Tigers with the ball. Harper wing to the right. And up the middle it goes to Tommy Cardinal. All the way up to the 35-yard line for a first down for the Tigers. Well, that's twice that uh, Cardinal has come through on long gains to get a first down. Mark Hall, the right defensive end, was following the play and finally brought him down, but not before Cardinal went for that first down. Now Harper is about five yards out, and the ball goes to Cardinal, and gets up close to that 40-yard line for about five yards. Tyrone Owens, the left defensive end, comes over to stop him, but not before Cardinal gets five yards, and it's a second down and five. Well, on that last play, Dave Kulik throwing a nice block. Wing to the right, Harper. Mike Mauger with the ball. And Mauger getting to the midfield stripe before he slips and falls down. Pulled down, uh, first down, Ed Vogel, the right safety, pulled him down into Warren Harding territory at about the 48-yard line. It's a first and 10, and now they'll mark it at the 49. A first and 10 for the Maslin Tigers. And now Warren takes a timeout with five minutes and 14 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There is no score. This is WTIG 99 on your radio dial. Back in with the Tigers splitting Larry Harper to the left. Betty Franklin gets to Tom Cardinal. Cardinal's going to go for short yardage. Down to about the 47-yard line for a couple of yards. Going to bring up a second down and eight. Tyrone Owens, Matt Lee, and Dave Bennett in the center of that line to stop him. So a second down and eight to go. Mike McGuire comes in for the Tigers. Playing in one of the end positions, Willie Spencer is in there. And in fact, Spencer and McGuire alternating. McGuire on one end, and now Luke is the other end. And the ball going to Tom Cardinal, and he's upset at the 46-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play, and Tom Turpin, the right cornerback, came up and made a great stop on that play. So this brings up a third down and a seven-yard situation for the Tigers. Harper to the left, Willie Spencer to the right. Benny Franklin gives to Mike Mauger, finds a big hole, gets through for the first down and drags a couple of fellas with him all the way down to the 31-yard line of Warren Harding. Nope, they're going to mark it at about the 34. That's where they say he touched. Kirk Strobel was the guy out there in front, but it's a first down for the Tigers. Let's see where they throw the ball in and mark it now. Now, one official standing on the 32-yard line. So that's where they're going to mark it. It's a first and 10 for the Maslin Tigers. Three minutes and 54 seconds to play in the first quarter. The Tigers trying to get in for a score. Harper to the right. Franklin gives off the middle to Tommy Cardinal. Cardinal gets down inside the 30 to about the 26-yard line, close to that 26. Going to go for about five yards. Ray Tenter, the left linebacker, and Mark Hall for Warren stop him. So it's second down and five on the five-yard advance by Tommy Cardinal. Out of the huddle they come. Steve Studer, the center, up over the ball. Harper to the right. Ends in tight. 
First man gets it. No, Benny Franklin keeping the ball. Getting good yardage of first down at about the 15-yard line. Well, there's that bootleg play by Denny Franklin. Faked. Marger went through the line. Franklin kept. Went all the way down to the 15-yard line, and it's another first down for the Maslin Tigers. Tom Turpin pulled him down, knocked him out of bounds on the far side of the field. The fourth first down of this drive, which started at their own 23-yard line. And Mauger is hit for a loss at the 16-yard line. Trying to go left and had to cut a little bit too quickly. Cardinal, Tom Cardinal. So a yard loss on the play. It'll bring up a second down at 11. Matt Lee pinned him down after he slipped around that left side. Spencer goes left, and Larry Harper comes way right. Franklin gives to Mike Mauger. Mauger fighting his way inside that 15 to about that 12-yard line. Going to pick up four yards. And so we've got another big third down coming up. About three or seven to go. Ray Tenser and Matt Lee are in to make the stop. So third down and seven to go for the Tigers. Harper goes left. Setbacks Cardinal and Mauger. First man getting it is Benny Franklin keeping the ball. Gets down to the five-yard line. Close to that first down, we'll have to mark and let's see where they knocked him out of bounds. Tyrone Owens knocked him out. What are they going to do? They're going to measure for it. They call a timeout briefly for a measurement. And it's a first and goal to go at the five-yard line. Straight T formation. Mike Mauger gets to the five, and that's as far as he goes. He was trying to run wide. Tyrone Owens would not let him cut the corner. In fact, he might have lost about a half yard on the play, so it's going to bring up a second and goal to go at the five-yard line. All right. Almost five and a half yards to go. Well, let's see. Uh, Tommy Cardinal with the ball. Getting down to about the two-yard line. So we're going to have a third down coming up and goal to go. At about the two, Ray Tenser, the left linebacker, stopping him on the play. Two yards away from a touchdown for the Maslin Tigers. 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Actually, at about the two and a half yard line is where the ball is set. Straight T now. And the ball going to Mike Mauger. Mike Mauger fighting. Touchdown, is it? No, 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 no. I see the upraised hand of one official, but only one hand. He's down at the six inch line. Gene Hapler made the stop. Mike Mauger with that great second effort. So we've got a fourth down and goal to go at the six-inch line for the Maslin Tigers. And there's the end of the first quarter with no score between the Maslin Tigers and the Warren Harding Black Panthers. This is the second quarter. The Tigers with the ball. Fourth down. Inches to go. And a quarterback keep. Touchdown. Denny Franklin goes in for the score. And that makes it six to nothing in favor of the Maslin Tigers. All right, we're going to go for the two points. Tigers come out and they put a man in motion, Larry Harper. And keeping the ball is Franklin and slips and falls. He slipped it about the four yard line as he was going wide. So the conversion, the attempt is not any good. So we've got a six to nothing score in favor of the Maslin Tigers. We're ready to go with a kickoff. 16 plays, 77 yards for the Tigers on that touchdown drive. Mike Mauger will boot it. Here's the kick. It's not too high and taken at the 20-yard line and then lateral back. But a whistle blows. That was Ed Vogel who had the ball. I don't know what happened, but apparently they say that his knee touched the ground and the ball will be put in play at the 20-yard line of Warren. They have the ball at 6 to nothing as we get set for the first play from scrimmage here in the second quarter. They got a couple of men uh, that uh, move around a little bit, get a wing, and now we got some movement in the Maslin line. Now we got a couple of flags thrown. So we're going to have a penalty on somebody. And a penalty against Warren. Puts the ball back at the 15-yard line where it'll be a first and 15. And the fans here don't like it one bit. As they come out of the huddle with an eye formation and they shift out of that. 
And uh, Joe Kirksey goes left. Now we have that movement again. And hitting at the 21-yard or the 16-yard line was Tom Muir, the quarterback, keeping the ball. And Larry McClendon bulleting in there and stopping him at the 16. A one-yard advance. It'll bring up a second down and 14 to go for a first down. High formation. And they shift out of that eye. Put a wing on the left. Tigers stunning around. The ball is pitched back. It goes to, well, let's see, Anthony Brown. Brown gets up over the 15 to about the 18-yard line. He's going to go for a couple of yards. That'll bring up a third down and about eight to go. Scott Pattinson coming up from his deep position. Defensively, we got the uh, third down and 12, rather. I'm sorry. The original line of scrimmage was the 20, and they're at the 18, so brings up a 12. Robert Steffen in there defensively. Scott Pattinson, Bernard Sullivan, Billy Luke, pitchback. And going wide and being hit back at about the 13-yard line is Anthony Brown. Bernard Sullivan, who was playing on that left side, pulled it in there along with Billy Luke and Mike McGuire, who is in there defensively. So this will bring up a fourth down and 16 yards to go for a first down. From the eye, they're going to shift into a punt formation. At least I think so. And uh, going back to punt will be uh, Eli Hylas standing at about the two and gets the kick away and it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. 30, 32-yard line of one. So, a big break for the Tigers. Tigers with the ball. Nine minutes and 12 seconds to go in the second quarter. They lead six to nothing. And it goes up the line to Tom Cardinal. He slips and falls at the 12-yard line. Oh, he was away for a touchdown, and he slipped and fell down. They'll mark it at the 13-yard line. Well, that'll show you it's still raining here, a consistent rain. Beautiful opening play, and Tom went through the hole and all the way down to the 12-yard line for a first down. That's a first and 10 to go. Hey, at the 13-yard line, we call it now, as the official puts the ball down. Harper winged to the right. Mike Mauger with the ball, knifing through his own right side. Gets down to about the 11-yard line. A pickup of two on the play. This will bring up a second down and eight. And on the stop, Dave Bennett, the right defensive tackle, making the initial stop. Second down and eight for the Tigers. Finney Franklin keeping to the five-yard line and out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field. Where do they mark it? Tom Turpin, the right cornerback, at about the three-yard line. All right, it's a third down. It's The ball is just about at the four, three-and-a-half-yard line, so it's third down and about a yard to go for a first down. Third down and yeah, uh, one yard to go for a first down. And the ball is given to Mike Mauger, and he rides a couple of guys who really leaped on him. He gets the first down. Al Mauger <laughs> comes limping back a little bit to the huddle. So we have a first and goal to go at the... Let's see where they mark the ball. They're they, they wiping the ball, and now they put it at the one-yard line, the one-and-a-half-yard line. Dave Zedek had made the tackle on that play. Over the middle, touchdown, and the quarterback, Denny Franklin, keeping the ball on the quarterback, keeping going in for a touchdown to make the score now 12 to nothing in favor of the Maslin Tigers. Six minutes and 59 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Five plays, 32 yards for the Tigers. Now the conversion attempt here. Franklin keeping the ball. Running, goes in for the two points. And that makes the score 14 to nothing as Franklin kept the ball, went right, 
and headed for that end zone on the right hand corner. 14 to nothing, the Tigers leading Warren. Boots it, Ed Vogel waiting for it at the 10-yard line, and he takes it right there to the 15, the 20, gets up to the 25-yard line, and there he is, smothered by a whole host of Maslin tacklers. Gaddis is in there on that kickoff team, one of the first boys down there. Scott Graber was down there. Now we've got a wing over on the left, and that's Joe Kirksey. Tom Muir, the quarterback. Eric Kirksey is the fullback. And the ball going to Eric Kirksey up the center. He gets up to about the 27-yard line. There's a flag on the play as Steve Luke stopped the ball carrier. Anthony Brown comes into the lineup. In for Kirksey, Joe Kirksey, that is. Wing to the right for Warren. As Muir is back to pass. Looking and then starts to run with the ball and knocked down as he gets up to about the 18-yard line. Steve Luke knocked him down. So this is going to bring up a second down and long yardage. About 17 to go for the first down. I might say there was a penalty we missed on the play before Warren was penalized. Five yards. I don't know whether we uh, brought that up. We're here busy watching something else. Second down at about 13 to go for the first down. Perry made the tackle. He's in there defensively now. Running uh, the pass, and he passes. It's complete and slipping and going out of bounds. At about the 18-yard line, Eric Kirksey, or Bill Hunter, Kirksey also down there. Bernard Sullivan coming over from his corner position along with Tim Ridgely, and actually they didn't have to do anything because he just slipped right out of bounds at the 23-yard line. So this is going to bring up a third down and about 11 to go for the first down. As coming right now is uh, Owens. Muir, passing boy, I'll tell you. There's a quick kick again. And it bounces at the 40-yard line, 39-yard line, and that's where it is downed. Kirksey, Joe Kirksey came down under the kick and downed it. And uh, Jeff Barnes quick kicked that, so the Tigers are going to have the ball. First and 10 at their own 39-yard line. They lead 14 to nothing. And this is WTIG 9. Franklin just a sea of mud. Mike Bogger with the ball. Fighting his way up for about five yards to the 44-yard line. Before he stopped on the play by Gene Hapler. Second down and five to go for the Tigers. Not a good number of fans here to follow the Tigers. Franklin on a delay and gives to Tommy Cardinal. He goes for the first down up over the midfield stripe into Warren territory to the 45 yard line. Matt Lee, the middle guard, along with Gary Wildman, the left cornerback man, stopped him on the play, finally brought him down. Cardinal's been getting some good yardage tonight. He got another first down. Well, it finally stopped raining, raining here. Four minutes and 30 seconds to play in the second quarter. I don't think that's going to make any difference. And Franklin keeping the ball, looking, and he's hit. Fumbles. Who has the ball? Out of bounds it goes. I know one of our... Looks like Mike Marger got it. Started the pass. Mike Marger was back there with him, and Marger got the ball. And uh, he didn't get the pass off, but somehow Marger got the ball and went down into, oh, this was back at the 50-yard uh, line, and the ball is now at the 38-yard line of Warren. We've got a second down and four, a six-yard gain on that play. That was a broken play, I know. 
How about that? Had a lot of people on him. Tommy Cardinal with the ball, and he's going to go for the first down. Inside the 35-yard line to about the 33 for another first down, and Ray Tensor was the man that stopped him. Well, that ball bounced around before, and uh, Mike Mogger came up with it. And Tommy Cardinal fighting his way down to about the 29-yard line. I'll tell you, these jerseys are really, uh, after you've been in there for a while, they really get dirty. A flag on the play, and a penalty against the Tigers that takes the ball all the way back to the 47-yard line. We're all the way down to the 29, a holding penalty. So that's where the Tigers are going to put it in play first and 25 to go as Harper goes left. McGuire being chased and a little screen pass is intercepted. Intercepted at the 44-yard line of Maslin. Let's see who got it. One of the men that was up close and he could have gone, almost have gone for a touchdown. Looks like uh, Gary Wildman, who's the left corner man on that side, intercepted that screen pass, which was a real dangerous one. So Warren has the ball, first and 10 at their own, or at the Tiger, 44-yard line, three minutes and 17 seconds left to play. Well, the Warren fans have something to cheer about now as they have the ball, first and 10, and it goes to Kirksey, the left halfback, Joe Kirksey, and he gets down to about the 41-yard line. He's going to pick up three on the play. It'll bring up a second down and seven. Larry McClendon, Don Perry, Tom Cardinal all in there on the stop. Warren set as they shift out of that power eye. Put a wing on the right. And the ball is uh, kept by the quarterback. Tom Muir started to go around, and he just couldn't get anywhere. He gets to the 41-yard line, and uh, no gain on the play. It's going to bring up a third down. And Bob Steffen stopped him on it, along with Kirk Strobel, who is in there defensively. So we've got a third down and about six to go, seven to go for the first down. Okay, defensively, we'll pick up some of the Tigers for you. Scott Pattinson, Billy Luke. Muir is back to pass, and he throws the pass out into the flat. It's complete and upset for a loss on the play. Very quickly was John Coleman. Coleman on the right side, a little flare pass. Tim Ridgely nailed him there, and the ball at the 44, so it's going to bring up a fourth down and 10. That was the original line of scrimmage. On a fourth down play here, they're going to go for it. And up the middle, no, keeping it, and there's a pass out there. It's incomplete. Intended for the left end, uh, Bill Hunter was out there, along with Eric Kirksey, who got the fake. But covering on the play was Scott Pattinson. And it goes as an incompleted pass. Uh, Sullivan also back to cover. And the Tigers are going to take over the ball, first and 10, at their own 44-yard line with a minute and 26 seconds left to play in the first half. Well, we'll see the Tigers uh, try to run out the clock. Denny Franklin back to pass. Throws one over to the right side. It's complete. Gets away for one man. Larry Harper has the ball. And out of bounds he goes at about the 35-yard line of Warren. That'll stop the clock with a minute and 17 seconds left to play. And Ray Tenser was the fellow that was defending. And now it's starting to rain again. But the ball at the 35-yard line of Warren 
And a first completed pass for the Tigers. Beautiful sideline pass to Larry Harper. Bullet pass. Back to pass again and being chased is Denny Franklin running way wide. Gets away from one man and then slips, reverses his field and hits back at the 36-yard line. Well, instead of going forward and going out of bounds, he thought he might have a chance to sweep back and reverse his field, but Len Roma let him go and lose about a foot on the play to the 36-yard line, we'll call it. This will bring up a second down and 11, and quickly the Tigers call a timeout with a minute and two seconds left to play. And they'd like to get on that scoreboard again. This is back to Mike Mauger. Mauger running wide, now cuts back in. And he's going to be hit at about the 34-yard line. There's a flag on the play. 56 seconds left on the clock as it stops. A clipping penalty against the Tigers. That's the signal we get, the indication that they're going to march the ball back into Tiger territory to the 48-yard line of Maslin, and that's where they'll have the ball. It'll bring up a second down and 25 to go for the first down. Now the clock starts going again. So Frank Little pass again, and he's back, drops back in the pocket, throwing way deep. He's got a man over his head. Boy, he really zoomed that one. Larry Harper down at about the 10-yard line. The ball was over his head. He threw that one 50 yards in the air. 34 seconds left to play. Well, no trouble with the, the wet ball. How about that? So this will bring up a third down and 25 for the Maslin Tigers at their own 48-yard line. Well, I'm sure Harper had his problems getting down here with this wet field tonight. It's raining again. And a double handoff, and it goes to Larry Harper. Harper is upset on an ankle tackle. One of those linemen up there, Len uh, Roman who came over, and now with 24 seconds left to play, see what the Tigers are going to do right now, and, and quickly they take a timeout to stop the clock. The ball is in Warren territory at their 47-yard line, which brings up a fourth down and 22. Okay, with a fourth down, and Willie Spencer goes to the right. Larry Harper wing to the left. Back to pass, getting protection. Throwing way down, a wobbly pass. No good. Over the head as uh, Spencer just collided with one of the deep men who was back there with uh, Ed Vogel and John Coleman back covering on the play. Incompleted pass, stops the clock with 17 seconds to play in the half. And Warren will take the ball over. First and 10 at their own 47-yard line. And I'm sure they'll wing the pass in there as Muir, the quarterback, weighs back the pass, and his arm is hit, throws the ball, still gets it away, got a man down there, but he can't hold it. Scott Pattinson slipped at the 10-yard line, and the man had an opportunity to catch the ball, Mark Hall, but he just couldn't hold on to it, and he could have gone for a touchdown. Nine seconds to play. That was uh, Harold Falls who came in there at quarterback with a clean white jersey to replace Tom Muir. Nine seconds left to play. That pass, incompleted pass, stops the clock. All right, and Fails is the name. He fakes, looking, now running out of the pocket and being chased. Gets away and then is hit and brought down. And that will end the first half. Steve Luke, he couldn't get away from him. He brought him down along with Larry McClendon and Don Perry in there chasing him. So the first half ends with the score, Maslin 14, Warren Harding 0. Ends, the game is half over, which means it's time for halftime huddle. Brought to you today as during every Tiger football game by Walt Green Tires. 233 First Street Southwest in Maslin. 
And now look at the scoring and statistics for the first half of today's game with Neil Redhead Day. And it is a wet day here, wet certainly. <laughs> but, Bill, in spite of the wet and in spite of the rain that's fallen constantly during this first half, it's been a tremendously well-played ball game. Very few errors. There have been an intercepted pass, but no fumbles. No turnovers on fumbles. The game, as we said, has been played very, very hard. There have been some things caused by the rain, and including we can think of one possible touchdown for the Massillon Tigers when Tom Cardinal burst through the middle of the line found an open field in front of him. Nobody was close. He'd already gained about 15 yards, continued to run, and then just slipped. There was nobody between him and the goal line, but the wet ground certainly pulled the ground from under him, and he did fall to the ground, and that ended that play after a nice long gainer by, uh, by Mr. Cardinal. As a matter of fact, the Massillon Tigers and, towards the end of the half, the Warren Panthers were able to throw the ball. They threw some beautiful long passes. Uh, bombs were about exclusively the type of pass thrown, and some of them nearly were complete. As a matter of fact, one fairly long pass was rifled by Danny Franklin for a completion towards the end of the half. The score at halftime here at Mollenkopf Stadium at Warren, 14 to nothing, the Massillon Tigers leading. The first score came on, in the second quarter with 11.59 to play. It was the first play of the second quarter when Denny Franklin on a quarterback sneak from a half yard out climaxed to 77 yard drive that covered 16 plays. The attempt at the extra point was no good, a run attempt by Franklin, and the score was six to nothing. The Massillon Tigers got the second core in the final score of the half. This time again a quarterback sneak, again by Denny Franklin, this time for one yard run, and uh, Franklin ran for the extra point. It came with 6.59 to play in the second quarter, and made the score 14 to nothing. And Bill, we'll look at some of the statistics available to us right after this message. The statistical picture for the first half, Bill, certainly all Massillon, a tremendous Massillon advantage in the statistical picture. Warren rushed for a net of minus two yards in the first half. They just weren't able to penetrate that Massillon interior line. They threw four passes, two of those who completed, but for a net yardage of three yards. So the Warren Panthers ran 13 plays during the first half for a net yardage of plus one yard. They got one first down through the first half, and that first down was not gained by their own efforts, but through a penalty. There was, uh, well, it was just completely Massillon dominated that first half. No first downs at all for Warren through rushing or passing. Warren did punt three times. Their average in those punts was 35 yards, and that's quite good. Two of those long punts came on uh, quick kicks on third down. The one punt they tried on fourth down was very, very short. There were three penalties against Warren for a total of 15 yards. Warren did not fumble. They did intercept one Massillon pass. The Massillon statistics quite impressive in this rain-soaked field, rushing 157 net yards, passing 21 yards for a total of 178 yards net in the first half, as opposed, as we said, to just one yard for Warren. There were 11 first downs for the Massillon Tigers, 10 by rushing, one by passing. The Tigers punted just once, and that went for 42 yards. There were two penalties against the Massillon Tigers, both of those major penalties for a total of 30 yards. The Tigers did fumble once, but they recovered their own fumble. So a very fine ball game, and certainly statistics-wise, dominated by the Massillon Tigers, who also lead in the scoreboard 14-0. Stadium in Warren, Ohio, and here to describe all the action, WTIG Sports Director Bill Ray Hall. And the rain continues to come down as we get set to start this second half. Mike Marger teeing the ball up on the 40-yard line. He'll boot it. With a little bit of a wind uh, blowing from right to left here at Molenkopf Stadium. Boy, I'll tell you, that field is wet. I don't know what uh, effect it's going to have on play in this second half. The Tigers uh, getting two touchdowns in the first half, and they'd like to get on the scoreboard a couple more times, I'm sure. A high end-over-end -end kick taken to the eight-yard line by Vogel. He gets up to the 10, the 15, the 20, fights his way up over the 25 to about the 30-yard line, where Art Thompson brought him down. So that's where they're going to put the ball in play, first and 10. Let's wait, make sure and watch where the officials mark the ball. His knee touching the ground at about the 29-yard line, they say, and that's where they'll put it in play, first and 10, at their own 29 as they come out lined up in an eye formation and then switch over to the left, balance to the left. Tom Muir is the quarterback. 
calling those signals. Hands off to his left halfback, Eric, Eric Kirksey. Kirksey running from left to right. Cuts over his own left side, up over the 30 to about the 34-yard line where Larry McClendon brings him down. Not before he goes for about six yards on the play. Uh, Five-yard advance, we'll call it second down and five. And they move, they don't waste too much time in that huddle. Wing left. Kirksey and Kirksey are in there, his couple of brothers, and hit at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's gonna get maybe a yard progress as Anthony Brown coming from a setback position, getting up off the bottom of the pile. Tim Ridgely in there. A uh, one yard advance is gonna bring up a third down and four to go for the first down. Joe Kirksey and Anthony Brown keep bringing the plays in. Now Joe Kirksey goes wing to the left. Setbacks are Eric Kirksey and George Kapilis. And uh, going up the middle and fighting almost up to the 40-yard line. Looks like he got a first down as Eric Kirksey, the fullback. Billy or Steve Luke gets up off the bottom of that uh, pile as he had an ankle tackle on him. And the rain continues to come down even harder. Boy, it is pouring. And I'll tell you, the umbrellas are up. Uh, first and ten for Warren. Brown goes left now, winged. And uh, hitting is the fullback, Kirksey again. Eric Kirksey gets down to the up to the 45-yard line. Scott Pattinson had to come up from a deep position to stop him. A five-yard advance. It'll bring up a second down and five. They're set to go. The Tigers uh, dig in there defensively. And the ball given to Kirksey again. Up over the 45 to about the 47-yard line. A pickup of about two on the play. This will bring up a third down and about three to go. Bernard Sullivan, who is playing over the corner, stopped them on the play along with Tim Ridgely again. Well, that ball's going to be hard to handle. Shift from the power eye. Brown goes left. Kirksey's been getting the ball. Eric Kirksey. And a fake and keeping the ball and being hit behind the line of scrimmage is Tom Muir, the quarterback. And in there, Larry McClendon coming in beautifully. Tom Cardinal also in there on that tackle. That's going to bring up a fourth down now and about seven to go for the first down. Robert Steffen was the one that made the initial stop and slowed the ball carrier, the quarterback, up. Shift into punt formation. Roman standing at his own 30-yard line. Snap from center. Gets the kick away. It's a beautiful high kick. Larry Harper lets it bounce. Picks it up at the 20-yard line. Fumbles it. Picks it up again. And is hit. And is gets on his feet again and hit at the 10-yard line. He fights. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Boy, I'll tell you, he was hit about five times. He lost the ball one time, continued to pick it up, and they had him back at the 10-yard line. He had the ball originally at about the 20. And fortunately, we've got the ball at the 15-yard line. So that's where um, Len Roman, the guy that punted it, got him. So the Tigers are going to put it in play, first and 10, at their own 15-yard line. This is WTIG. The ball going to, no, Franklin keeping the ball, fighting his way up to about the 19-yard line. He's going to pick up four on the play, close to the 20. 
Franklin on that uh, bootleg keep. Let's see where they mark the ball now. They'll mark it at the close to that 20 yard line. I have to wait till they put the thing down. Len Roman in there to make the stop along with Matt Lee. We'll have the call at the 19 yard line. It'll be a second down and six to go on the four yard advance by Denny Franklin. Harper goes to the right. And up the middle and uh, getting hit quickly. Tom Cardinal as he got up over the 20 to about the 23 yard line. And an ankle tackle by Ray Tenser, that left linebacker, a 200 pounder. Stopped him on the play and Jim Petlicka is in there defensively replacing Tyrone Owens at that left defensive end position for Warren. It's a third down and two to go for a first down. At the 23 yard line, their own 23, 14 to nothing. The Tiger fans yelling, go, go, go. And going for the first down is Tom Cardinal. Cardinal goes for the first down. Well, Mike Mauger, Mike Mauger, Cardinal out there in front of him, throwing a block, gets up to the 26 yard line. <laughs> where the Tigers get a first and 10. Six minutes and 34 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Maslin leading 14 to nothing. Right, it's pretty hard to tell the players without a number, but boy, I'll tell you tonight, you just can't tell any numbers. And getting back to the line of scrimmage is uh, Tom Cardinal, and that's as far as he's gonna go as uh, Matt Lee really racked him up there. No gain on the play, it'll bring up a second down and 10 to go for the first down. Somebody mentioned this is the worst field position the Tigers have had, and this is the worst field we've played on this year, too. So speaking of worst fields, this is it. Mike Mauger slips and falls at the 29-yard line. He was through. I'm sure he could have gone for a few extra yards that time, but he just went sliding right through there. So a three-yard advance for Mike Mauger brings up a third down and nine to go for the first down. Chuck Cullins. And that defensive line for Warren made the tackle. Third and seven. Franklin faking, keeping the ball and hit behind the line of scrimmage at about the 23-yard line. Well, breaking in very quickly. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, take a guess. It looked like uh, Tyrone Owens, who was in there at that left defensive end position that came in there to stop him. So this is going to bring up a fourth down and 13 to go for a first down for the Tigers. Punt formation, Mike Mauger standing at his own 11-yard line. Vogel is the deep man for Warren. There's the snap, a high pass, and they go in to try to block that. He gets the kick away and taken at the 42-yard line by Vogel and hit. Nope, and he starts to backtrack, and he's hemmed in and brought down at the 40-yard line. He spun around and tried to backtrack, but he was hit and knocked down. Larry McClendon, Steve Loop, were two of the boys down there along with David Gulick. So Ward has the ball, first and 10 at their own 40-yard line, four minutes and 17 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Maslin leads 14 to nothing. Three minutes, 54 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Muir is the quarterback. They've got the ball and a couple of uh, Tigers. Uh, we don't see any flags yet. Now we see a flag. One of the two of the Tiger defensive linemen in there started to make a move. And the initial indication we get that the Tigers are offside. That was the play went up uh, to about the 43 yard line. Tom Cardinal, one of them in there, along with Pete Jasinski. So it's a first and five at their own 45 for Warren. So they wing Brown to the right. And a fake, and Muir still holds the ball. He's going to pass it, but he's going to be hit at the 42-yard line. Steve Luke and Bob Steffen came over, put the collar on him, and rode him down to the turf. 
So they lose on that play. They lose a couple of yards to the 20, 43 yard line. It'll bring up a second down and seven to go. Out of that power eye, they shift. Capellas uh, goes to the right. Fake and a give is to Brown, and Brown gets up to the 45 yard line and push back to the 43. He loses the ball, and Tim Ridgely falls on it, but the whistle had blown the play dead. Art Thompson coming over from a corner and bringing the ball carrier down. They mark it at the 45, so this will bring up a third down and five to go for the first down. John Coleman comes in for Capella. He's the one with a nice white jersey, wing to the right, with the red letters on it. Coleman goes out. Muir goes back to pass. He throws a screen, and it's dropped. Dropped and hit at the 40, but they call it an incompleted pass. Joe Kirksey was the intended receiver over there on the side. Kirk Strobel in there defending. And over on that side, Billy Luke. Scott Patton's it all coming up. Larry Harper now comes into the game. Larry McClendon comes running onto the field with a fourth down and five. And the rain just pelting down incessantly. They're going to shift now into punt formation. Len Roman standing back at his own 33-yard line. Larry Harper in the lone safety standing at his own 27. There's the snap. There's the kick. It's a nice high kick. And Larry's going to let it go. It takes a Warren bounce and rolls dead at the 24-yard line of Maslin. And that's where the Tigers are going to put it in play, first and 10 at their own 24. They lead 14 to nothing. moves a minute and 30 seconds to play here in the third quarter and Mike Mauger oh Tom Cardinal up over the 30 to the 31 yard line a pickup of seven yards on the play it's going to bring up a second down and three to go for the first down Mark Vincell in there defensively to stop him for Warren Harper to the right the setbacks Mauger and Cardinal Keeping the ball is Denny Franklin, and he slips. Slips at the 29-yard line. He just couldn't cut around that corner. And he's just kneeling down there on one knee, and he comes back into the huddle. So what are you going to do? Dave uh, Gooley comes over and says, come on, let's go. So this brings up a third down and five to go. The ball at the 29-yard line, their own 29, for the Maslin Tigers. Well, the Tigers have not had good field position at all in this second half so far. <coughs> and a handoff going to Mike, Mike Mauger. He gets up over the 30 to about the 31-yard line, and uh, the going is tough. This is going to bring up a fourth down and three yards to go for the first down. And there's the end of the third quarter. Set to go with a fourth and final quarter of this football game. Punt formation for the Tigers. Mike Mauger at his own 19. Gets the snap. And they were out there to try to block that, but they Mike got the kick away and it rolls dead at about the 42-yard line of Warren. And that is where they're going to put it in play first and 10. Just mentioning here that surprisingly there have been very few fumbles in this game with all this rain coming down on the muddy field and keeping the ball and 
handing it off quickly to Eric Kirksey. Just keeping it momentarily enough of a delay. Kirksey gets up to the midfield stripe for eight yards where Scott Pattinson had to come up from a deep position to stop him. Second down and about two to go for the first down. Well, I'm sure to, to Warren, we'd like to get on the scoreboard, and the Tigers would like to get another touchdown in there, too. And up the middle, and for short yardage, but enough for the first down is Kirksey, the fullback. Tigers in there trying to stop him. <laughs> Kirk Strobel in there defensively, along with Steve Luke. It's a first and 10, the ball at the Maslin 48-yard line. 10 minutes and 54 seconds left to play here in the fourth and final quarter. 14 to nothing, the Tigers leading. Shift out of the eye formation. Muir is the quarterback for Warren. And the handoff goes to Joe Kirksey. Kirksey for short yardage down to maybe the 47 yard line. A pickup of about a yard on the play. And it'll bring up a second down a nine. Strobel again in there on the stop. So with a second and eight, Fails comes in there. Harold Fails is the quarterback. <coughs> and he hands it off. And really submarined as Joe Kirksey as he gets up over the 45 down inside to about the 44. And try to get some yardage, but over on that side. Tom Cardinal in there defensively to stop him. This is going to bring up a third down and five. Steve Luke also over there to help make the stop. Well, this is the town down the Tigers would like to stop. Hold him for no gain as Harold Fails is the new quarterback. <coughs> and he had a quick give up the center. Let's see how much forward progress as he went sliding through and slipping through. Kirksey, Eric Kirksey. They hit him at about the 42-yard line, and he slithered through down to about close to that 40. A little bit of a late whistle. Uh, and I think they're going to come in for a measurement. Pete Jasinski made the stop. Fourth down and about three to go at the 41-yard line. They're going to go for it. As Fails is the quarterback, and he gives to the... No, he pitches out to the right and hit and knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Let's see where they call it. Re referee got knocked down, too. Way over on the far side of the field. And they don't get the first down. The Tigers are going to take over the ball first and ten. Steve Luke trailing the play and knocked them out of bounds. So with nine minutes and eight seconds to play in the football game, the Tigers leading 14 to nothing. They have the ball first and ten at their own 39-yard line. And this is the best field position they've had in the second half. Franklin holds his hand up, quiets down the crowd, <coughs> gives the ball to Mike Mugger. I'm telling you, with the, with the dirt and everything else, up to the 41-yard line, Mugger goes for a two-yard advance. It'll bring up a second down and eight. All right, with a second down and eight, Harper comes right. Back to pass is Franklin, looking, throwing over to Harper. He gets it at the midfield stripe and knocked out of bounds at about the 48-yard line of Warren. How about that? Who think that pass in this kind of weather? But Franklin throws one out to Harper. Ed Vogel brought him down, knocked him out of bounds. They're going to throw the ball in market at the 48-yard line where the Tigers have it first and 10. Well, it's the first time we've been in Warren territory in this half. Had pretty bad field position otherwise. And uh, Mike Mauger gets down to the 45-yard line for three yards. 
Tom Cardinal, rather. Mike Mauger out there uh, leading the interference. And Cardinal with the ball. A three-yard advance. It'll bring up a second down and seven. Owens, the left defensive end on that side. The play was coming over that way, made the stop. I'll tell you, uh, running is really, really tough. <coughs> There's Mike Mauger, puts his head down, barrels into a couple of people, gets down to about the 43-yard line, and picks up uh, down to the 42. So a pickup of a couple of uh, three yards on the play is going to bring up a third down. Tom Turpin, the right cornerbacker, and Ed Vogel made the stop. Third down, and four to go for the first down. Well, what would you do on a third and four as Harper goes way to the right. Willie Spencer comes over to the right. Harper to the left, rather. And fighting Tommy Cardinal as Mauger was um, hit with the ball first and then it was handed off to Cardinal. Well, now they mark it. I thought he got down to about the 38-yard line, but the 39... So they're going to be short a yard. It's going to bring up a fourth down and a yard to go for a first down. And the Tigers are going to go for it. Keeping the ball is Denny Franklin, and he's going to get the first down. At least I, uh, I don't want to be premature. Maybe they're going to call for a measurement. Yep, it's a first and 10 to go for the Tigers at the 38-yard line of Warren Harding. Set to go again. Five minutes and 43 seconds to play. <coughs> Franklin keeping the ball. Gets down to the 30. Going to go out of bounds at about the 20-yard line, the 15-yard line. Boy, a beautiful bit of running by Denny Franklin. Ray Tenzer, the one guy that had a shot at knocking him out of bounds, and he did. Now, let's see where they say uh, he went out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. So uh, the Tigers got it first and 10 on about a 20-yard run by Denny Franklin around his own left side. I'm surprised that he could find the footing to go as fast as he did. The Tiger stands on the far side of the field yelling, go, go, go. And I'd like to see us get on the board again here in the closing moments and just sliding right through the center of the line, Tom Cardinal. And when I say sliding through, boy, I literally mean it. Down to about the 14-yard line, a pickup of four, bring up a second down and six. Ray Tenser, the left linebacker, again in there to stop him along with Matt Lee. Well, I think uh, Bob Weary would have liked that form on that dive last time into the water. And Mike Bogger fighting, dragging, down almost to the goal line, though, about the one-yard line. Boy, he almost uh, is dragging about three or four people in for the touchdown. Half the distance, a personal foul. So the ball on about the half-yard line. It's first and goal to go. And Denny Franklin keeps the ball and goes in for a touchdown. So the Tigers get on the scoreboard. Four minutes and 46 seconds left to play in the football game. And it's now 20 to nothing in favor of the Tigers. Tigers are going to go for the two points. <coughs> Franklin rolling out to the right, looking, throwing into the end zone. Hey. It's good to Larry Harper for two points. Very get the signal is a little late. I called it before the official did. I don't mean to do that. So it's now 22 to nothing in favor of the Tigers over Warren Harding with four minutes and 40 seconds left to play. Set to kick it, tees the ball up on the 40. Vogel is the deep man. And Mauger gets a fairly short kick uh, underway and it's taken at the 24 by Coleman, who was up close. Coleman gets up to about the 30-yard line. And let's see who came down under there. One sick was one of the boys, Roger Groff, on that kickoff team. They put the ball at the 33-yard line where it'll be first and 10. Art Thompson also down under the kick. Got a flag down on the play. 
Okay, that's where the fall is going to be put in play. Uh, procedure penalty. Uh, I didn't get a clear indication of it, but anyway, the ball is at the 33-yard line. Warren has it first and 10. Fails is the quarterback, and he gives to a new man that's in there, and that's Doug Stubbs with his white jersey. He gets up for about a yard, and that's as far as he's going to go as Tim Ridgely gets up off of the bottom. Don Perry also getting up off the bottom of that pile. Uh, an offside penalty is declined against the Panthers. The Tigers will take the down. There was no gain on the play. It'll bring up a second down and 10. Stubbs and Cernulka are in the backfield. Fails is the new quarterback. So Coach Tom Bata and Fails is back to pass. Stefan chases him. He's back there. He throws a screen. Intercepted by Billy Luke at about the 26 yard. He intercepted it at the 30 yard line. Took it back to the 26 yard line. There's a flag. We get a signal from one official waving his arms as if no play. And looks like, what is it? I don't know. Something against the Tigers, either roughing the passer. Let's see, we'll, we'll wait until we get the official signal. Roughing the passer penalty, and Warren keeps the ball. They've got it at their own 47-yard line, first and 10. <coughs> Coleman with the ball, running wide, way wide, and hit and brought down by Art Thompson as he got into Maslin territory at the 48-yard line. So he picks up about five on the play. It'll bring up a second down and five to go for a first down. Three minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the football game. Well, Warren still has the ball. I thought uh, we had an interception there. Almost had another touchdown going. Pitch back goes to Brown, who came in there running way wide. And he has to, he's knocked out of bounds as he gets down to about the 35-yard line, the 34-yard line of the Maslin Tigers by Tom Cardinal. Man, he almost got away that time. But good pursuit by Tom Cardinal. Finally bowled him out of bounds. And now a flag was down on the play, and I couldn't even see it because apparently these flags are so muddy by now. But they marched the ball to the 38-yard line of Warren Harding, a holding penalty against them, and it brings up a second down. And let's see, uh, what do you guys figure this out real fast? All right, second down and 20. Thrown 38-yard line, Warren with the ball. <laughs> Fails with the ball, he faked. He's got a man way down there, and he caught the ball at about the 22-yard line, but there's a flag down. Well, a nice catch, a nice throw. The flag is down, but let's see. Bill Luke stopped the uh, receiver. I don't know who that was. Looked like Bill Totten. And now they're bringing the ball back. There was a flag on the play and a big break for the Tigers. Two minutes and 58 seconds left to play. Penalty against Warren Harding. We'll wait for the signal. From the 38-yard line, they start to march the ball back. So the penalty, five yards offside nullifies that long gain by Warren and that makes it now second down and 25 and the ball is at their own 33 yard line with two minutes and 58 seconds left to play in the football game as they break out of the huddle come up to that line of scrimmage Howard fails is still the quarterback we've got a straight T formation the rain continues to pour down <coughs> fails keeps throws another long pass out there over the head of the intended receiver. And Billy Luke covering. He had his man covered all the way. And Fails had a long time to throw that. Tyrone Owens, the intended receiver. 
So that brings up a third down and 25 now. Well, a couple of long passes. They're trying to connect here and faking. And they got the quarterback that time, and he is really ripped down at the 25-yard line by Willie Spencer. Oh, Spencer broke in there beautifully and really wrapped Harold Fails. So this brings up a fourth down and 33 yards to go for a first down. And uh, with a fourth down, two minutes and 19 seconds to play, a shift into punt formation. Roman standing back at his own 15-yard line. Cool, rainy night. Spencer breaking in there momentarily. A nice high kick. Harper takes it and drops it. Picks it up at the 22-yard line. Gets away from one man. Gets up to the 25 and smothered at the 24-yard line. Well, Harper's been having a problem uh, trying to look for daylight and backtracking a little bit. But the ball, the Tigers have it at their own 24-yard line. And I'll tell you, Warren really got out of a hole that time because they were way back in their own territory and he was standing on his own 20-yard line when he booted that and he got a nice kick away. This kid has a pretty good average. A minute and 47 seconds left to play in the football game. And we're set to resume play here as the Tigers, uh, as uh, <coughs> Sullivan with the ball, and he is not going to get anywhere on an end around. He was on the wing and came around and took the ball. And a spotted at the 22-yard line, so a loss of two on the play. It'll bring up a second down and 12. Matt Lee, the middle guard, made the stop. Harper comes back in. He's winged over on the left. Franklin keeping the ball. Mauger gives him a block. He gets up to the, and he has to fight and try to cut back. He gets up to about the 24-yard line for two yards. There's a flag on the play. 58 seconds left to play in the football game. Benny Franklin running around trying to consume some time. Fans leaving both sides of the field. The stands emptying. And the Tigers get penalized half the distance there at their own 12-yard line as Harper goes in motion, running wide. And uh, he's going to be hit as he gets up over the 13-yard line. There's a flag on the play. 43 seconds left to play on the clock now. Harper was on the wing and came around, and the ball was pitched back by Franklin as Harper came around and tried to go left, putting another penalty against the Tigers, clipping. And this one is refused, so they'll take the down instead. It'll bring up a third down, and, well, they've got about uh, 20 yards to go for the first down. With 26 seconds, third and 20, Franklin keeping the ball, running wide, staying up on his feet, and the ball is fumbled, but it goes out of bounds. That stops the clock with 20 seconds. So I don't know what happened there. A great sensor for Warren covering the ball at the 19-yard line. So it looks like the Tigers are going to have to punt it. But there was a play that uh, Franklin very definitely was trying to stay in bounds and eat up the clock as much as he could. But the ball went bounding out of bounds, and it stopped the clock. I don't know what the Tigers are doing with a fourth and 15, and Franklin just lays on the ball. I don't understand that. They had a fourth down, and Warren's going to take over the ball at the Maslin 18-yard line with 17 seconds to play, and uh, Warren just called a timeout. How about that? I don't understand that at all. Back to pass is fails. He throws it over, and it's intercepted by Art Thompson. The 20, 
He's not going to go all the way because he's got too many guys there in front of him. He's going way over to the far side and knocked out of bounds as he gets to the 42-yard line of Warren, and the clock runs out. How about that? He'd have had a dry field. He'd have gone all the way. But he had to cut back in and wait for a block, and he just couldn't find the footing. Well, anyway, I don't know what happened on that uh, Maslin not punting the ball, but wow, giving the opposition the ball at the 17-yard line, 18-yard line was uh, giving them a chance to get in for a score. So that's the end of the football game with a final score. Maslin 22, Warren Harding nothing. Well, statistics are quite interesting, and especially the number of plays run by both teams. Warren had 32 plays, the Maslin Tigers 64 plays, double the amount of plays that Warren had. Warren gained 29 yards rushing. They attempted eight passes. They completed three of those for a net yardage of seven yards, giving them, in their 32 plays, a net yardage of 36. Warren managed three first downs through the game, two by rushing and one through a penalty. They punted the ball six times for a 38-yard average. Five penalties were assessed against Warren for 35 yards. They never did fumble through the game, and they did intercept one pass. The Tiger statistics rushing 230 yards in those 64 plays. They attempted five passes, completed two of those for 31 yards for a total of 261 net yards through this ball game in a rain-soaked field. The Tigers rushed for 14 first downs. They got two first downs through the air for a total of 16 first downs, 11 of those in the first half. The Tigers punted three times for 107 yards. That's a 34-yard average. There were four penalties against the Tigers for 47 yards. The Tigers fumbled twice, but they recovered both their own fumbles, and the Tigers intercepted one pass at the final pass of the ball game. 85 yards and 18 carries, the total for Tom Cardinal, who was the top ball carrier for the Massillon Tigers. Mike Mogger had 16 carries for a total of 74 yards, and Denny Franklin, mostly on the quarterback keeper, 14 carries and 58 yards, and of course, three touchdowns. Those are the, the statistics for this ball game played on a rain-soaked Mullencott Field in Warren, Ohio.